now we have to implement the delete operation here for that we will create a action method For delete also we have to pause the product id so i can take it from here the same code we are going to use it here i will use it and this time we no need of categories we are not going to display the drop down list directly we will bind the data here and I am going to use another method for post the data for the deletion. Here directly we can post the model itself. I will pass product model and here I can add action name also I am going to use delete as action name finally once it is deleted I am going to redirect this form to index view here we have to pass the model finally we have to save the changes so now we have to create view for deletion add view I am taking empty razor view Here for delete also I am going to copy it from edit it will be similar to the edit I will paste it here here I will make it as delete product and here we have the id and this action will be delete and here we should not allow user to edit the data so I will make it as read only. it the same thing so everywhere I am copying read only here I am making as disable I will run this so also we have to do this will be delete it should be danger just I am changing the button color here currently we have three different products so we are going to delete the product now I will run the application I will click on this delete button here we have disabled the edit option so this category is not selected we will check this so we will remove this and we will check it so these categories are not loading so here this is not the issue while calling this delete get method we have to call the load categories also I am going to call this before binding the product I will run the application now first we are going to load the categories and here we are filtering the products 
based on the product id so in this we will get the category id also so based on the category id the drop down item will be selected inside the drop down so i'll open the products now click on delete so this category has been selected here so just this is the deletion form user can verify the data and here user can delete click on delete this product has been deleted we will check the database earlier we had three products now we have only two products i am going to delete another product also delete here we will create another product so product has been created like this we can use the drop down list inside the sp.net core application and we can perform the crowd operations that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching